Hello everyone, my name is Anna. Welcome to Cactus Caffeine and my drink for today I must admit there is no caffeine in this although it came from Starbucks. This is a strawberry shake I forgot the exact fancy name of this drink Although the guy from Starbucks said he can add coffee to this But I don't think coffee and strawberry make a good combination. <laughs> so I said just leave it as is as a strawberry shake so for today, what I'm going to show you is how I propagate my cactus through top cuttings. So this method, you can actually do it for any columnar. Usually it's done on a columnar cactus. So this is a lobivia. And what happened to this lobivia is it just grew taller and taller and did not form any pups on the sides. So it came to a point that it got too top heavy. The pot just kept tipping over so I decided to cut the top portion of this cactus. Actually, here is the top portion of this cactus. So I cut this um, last year around fall. So I cut it off and I put cinnamon in this so that it won't uh, develop fungus or bacteria. So cinnamon has an antifungal uh, property. And then this one, the top portion, I let it um, dry or callous for at least three days so about a week before I planted it in soil so anyway this top one did not do anything over fall and winter that's why it shrunk in size it only started rooting this spring and actually in summer uh, this summer it already flowered I am convinced that this has already rooted the fact that it has flowered and yeah it won't budge anymore so now that it has rooted later on I'm hoping that this will plump up like how this looks like so anyway going back to this um, main plant or the bottom part of the plant these started shooting out in actually it was quick it started shooting out early in winter this pops Okay, so this is what will happen if you cut the top portion off. Of course, it will no longer grow taller. Instead, it will form pups on the aerials. Each aerial is um, capable of producing a pop. So it produced these pops. And these pops are now what I will take off to plant more cactus. Okay, I will not let these pops grow on here because again, I will have the same problem of this being top heavy. So instead, I'm going to remove the pops and I'm going to start them off in another pot. So removing these pops is actually easy and these are big enough now, especially this. So we'll start with this. Even the smallest pop is big enough now to be planted on its own so just gently pull it oh there you go see it comes off easily that's how it looks like so i will just take this off one by one and then it is advisable to let these pops heal so leave them as is for about a few days okay but since it is summer now here, and we have a very dry air, I don't actually feel that it's necessary for me to let them callous. I can actually plant this straight in soil as long as my soil is dry. But if you live in a humid place, I would suggest you to leave this out at least overnight or three days um, until the bottom part heals now I have my pot here pots here with soil and since like I told you I won't leave this out anymore overnight to heal or to callus so what I'm just going to do instead is I'm going to dip the ends in cinnamon powder this is just plain cinnamon that you can buy in the grocery so it will help it heal and some say cinnamon will help it root although I am not sure about that but anyway that is this is what I'm going to do and I will plant this in dry soil I will not water this I will just simply place it in here okay 
Oh. Okay, I don't know if I can fit in one more. Maybe yes, three in this one. Oops. Got the cinnamon. Okay, we'll do a trio in this pot. And then I'm going to add more soil to this. Okay. Normally, I use terracotta pots for my bigger established cacti. But for this one, I'm using a plastic pot. Because I'm still trying to root it. So I want the soil to retain moisture uh, longer. So if I put it in a terracotta pot, the soil will dry out quick and moisture and humidity actually encourages root development. So that is what I am aiming for here. Encourage this to root. And when I'm convinced that this has rooted and it has grown a little bit, then I will transfer this in terracotta pot. Okay, and for the other one, this is the nice big one. Okay, this Lobivia has a, like a magenta, not magenta, like a purple red flower. It's nice and big flower. And it's very prolific too. Too bad it won't form offsets. <laughs> it is solitary and it just kept growing taller. So, this way, I'll not, I now have more of the same cactus. Ow. Okay. So, like I said, I will not water this yet. I would probably wait maybe one full week before I start introducing water into this. And when I am rooting a cactus cutting, I don't drown the soil in water. I just introduce a little bit of moisture on top. Like when I water it, just a little bit, just to, to get the top a little bit wet and introduce moisture into it. And that will encourage the pops to root. So remember, if your cutting doesn't have any root yet, do not soak the soil. Just introduce a little bit of moisture to encourage it to root. Once it has rooted, then you can water it as you would your other established cactus. Now to add icing on the cake, <laughs> a little bit of top dressing. So this is not necessary, but I like to use top dressing because when I water, it keeps the soil um, from spilling over the pot, especially since I have pumice in my soil. Pumice has a tendency to float also when you water, so I use top dressing to keep it down. Plus, it looks nicer, more finished if it has a top dressing. middle there you go here is my lobivia now from one lobivia i now have one two plus five seven <laughs> hopefully if all of these roots so i will have seven of that same lobivia let me just take out this old dried flower buds so this method of cactus propagation is usually done for columnar cactus. So once you cut the top off, the bottom is expected to grow more pops. And remember, propagation is best done during the growing season, which is spring, summer, or if you have a mild fall or autumn, you can do it early in fall. I will keep these pops in a brightly shaded area. So while it is still rooting, I will just keep them away from direct sunlight. Otherwise, they will shrivel up fast. But once I am convinced that they rooted and I've seen a little bit of growth going on top of it, then I will slowly introduce it to sunlight. 
and this is it for my video for today if you liked it give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants follow me on facebook and in instagram and i will talk to you again next time bye everyone and cheers Thank you.